let's let's take a look at how you can assign participants in the ad hoc mode. I'm on version 16.0, so I have a image for both my slider background and also for my broadcast background. Now, the example I'm going to use for the breakout session is a math class. There are a total of five breakout groups, but I am just going to choose three. We will, uh, a couple points I'm going to bring out along the way are that this choose course and number of breakouts is very important because that determines the number of uh, breakout rooms you'll see in the assigned section. So if I chose five, if I choose five here, I'll see five or three or one. I'll show you that. <clears throat> the second point I want to bring out is your main room needs to be in sync in order to see all your students, to see your students. Uh, let's go through an example. So everything looks good and I'm going to start the class because I have everything lined up. All the students enter because I had them pre-assigned uh, waiting for this example. So the, I created simulated students waiting for me to enter. Now once I enter, then they can actually go in the room. Let's say that now we want to assign them and we'll uh, open up that section. <clears throat> we'll see our entire list and we'll see our three groups. Let's say that we wanted to actually have four groups. We'll go back here and we'll say four and you'll need to close it and open it again and then we'll see four. So that's very important. Another important point I want to bring out is that it's not necessary to have the breakout rooms open in order to assign them. In this example here, the only room I have open is the main room, but I'm still able to see all these breakouts. Let's read the first part of this section. It says, please note <clears throat> that in Google Meet, students cannot be pushed into breakout rooms. Students must voluntarily enter the breakout rooms by clicking on the links you provided in the chat. What, what that means is, after we assign them here, and we could move them around and so on, uh, they're not automatically moved into those rooms. I know it's very natural to look at this list and say, well, why aren't they in those rooms yet? And the reason why is what I just explained right here. They have to actually click on a link to enter the room. Now, we actually haven't even opened the room yet, but we're ready. So we'll go ahead and open the breakout rooms, and we're going to go with four. So we'll say here, open the breakouts. Since we open these separately, the main and the breakouts, things aren't tiled the way we want them, so we'll click the retile. Now everything looks pretty good. All right. Let's, let's move along, and we will say, you can close things down as, you're, as you finish them. Uh, let's say that we want to uh, adjust the assignment, so we'll just click on random until we get something that looks pretty nice. If you see your name here, Teacher Robert, or whatever your, uh, your name is, um, there's a reason why you see that, and it's because of this extension here, which I recommend. It's the grid view parentheses fix. There's an option here to include yourself in the grid. I'll take that out. I'll close this. I'll open it again, and then I'm gone. I'm going to add myself just because I want to keep this as an example. So I'll put myself back in again. You can imagine some scenarios where you're teaching other teachers and then you want to participate. Uh, so uh, that's, a, that's an option. Now, this is an area where a lot of uh, new users uh, get confused and they, they have some problems. And, and I receive their emails. They say, I can't see any of my students. Or they can say, I can't see uh, all of my students. 
let's answer those one by one. If you don't see the list of students that you, you expect, then click here on this link. So we'll click that. <clears throat> Why can't I see any students in the assigned participants? And the reason is because you're not in sync. If you're not in sync, then that means the extension doesn't know about this room, this uh, main room. So uh, there's no way that your students would be listed. So we have to make sure that you are in sync. One way to know that you're in sync is if you see on this tab the name of your main room, which typically is going to be main. If you do not see that, if you see something else like main dash or meet dash and then some kind of code, that's a pretty good sign that you are not in sync. Let me show you how you can get back in sync if, if you're out of how you can get in sync if you're out of sync. So the first option is to refresh both the control panel and the main window. That, that could help. Uh, the option number two is to close everything down and start back up again. I know that sounds pretty radical, but it's, <clears throat> it's not that big a deal. Uh, Google Meet is pretty uh, flexible. It's pretty stable. If you close down your window, the students still remain. Uh, the third one is if you have Google Classroom, that's uh, been a little bit uh, source. That's been a source of confu confusion. How can you sync up the main room in your uh, Google Classroom created Meet with the extension? And there's another another video on that. But the short answer is you'll need to go to your created Meet and you'll type in a Control L. And that'll highlight everything. Control C copies it. Then you would need to go over to the Rooms tab, go to the main, triple click one, two, three, and paste. In 16.0, there's actually a button that does all that. Well, let's keep going here. <coughs> I, I want to show you an example where I'm not in sync and how I can get back, how I can get back in sync. <clears throat> so uh, I will need to get myself out of sync. Let's say that this actually had a two. <clears throat> then when I, if I hit refresh, <clears throat> it will open. But I'll get this tab name, meet dash, the name of the code. <clears throat> that, that's not going to work. Because we know right away we're not in sync, so we, we should expect that we will not see our students here. So then we'll investigate how come we're not in sync, and it has to do with the URL not being the same. So if I take this out and put the two back in, and I hit, click Save, then I should get back in sync. That says Main, and then if I close this and open it, uh, well, then I'll see all my students. I actually, I previously as previously assigned them, and in the extension, actually remembers it. <laughs> so, all right. But uh, as long as I'm on this topic, let me show you the Google Classroom example because again, this is a little bit of a source of confusion. Uh, if you have Google Classroom, it it a lot of people are having problems syncing it. So let me just go through it. It's 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 really easy, but you just have to know what to do. So we'll. I will create a scenario with Google Classroom. Now I will, I, I just typed in Command or Control W that will close down your windows. All right, so let's go to my Google Classroom here. <clears throat> I'm going to pretend this is a math class, All right? Say so I'm teaching math because on my extension, I, I, I'm using a math example. So let's just say this is my math class. And let's just say that I open it using this lookup link. I'm calling this a lookup link because it's meetgoogle.com uh, lookup, and then it's got a code after it. It's different than this code, but we'll click on this, and we'll open it. Now, one thing you also will notice, this is in 16.0. Uh, it does not automatically open you up into the meet, which is huge. That's a big improvement. I, I, in, in the past, I had auto join, automatically join for all meets, but that's not right. Uh, the extension's only going to manage meets that it's within its scope, and within its scope is defined by any meet that's in this list. 
if it's if it's a meet that's outside this list, then it will not automatically join you. But I even go one step further in the settings for 16.0, 16.0, I have some additional checkboxes. <clears throat> even if it's in your scope, even if it's in your scope, you still can exclude it from being automatically joined by turning these boxes off, checking these boxes off. All right, that's just an aside. So here we are, and we're gonna join. Now, right off the bat, the extension does not know about this Google Classroom automatically created Meet because this link, when you click on it, will just randomly generate a new one. Uh, depending on your school setting, it could be every single time you could teach a class. It could be once a day. Uh, so in this case, we don't know about it, and we can tell that it's not in sync because of this tab. We can easily fix it, and well, I want to prove to you that when you go down here, you won't see anybody, right? So then you would maybe panic or <laughs> freak out. Uh, it's easy to freak out when you're teaching remote. I know, I know, I know it's easy to freak out. Just take a deep breath. So you say, oh my gosh, I don't see my students. Why don't I see my students? I'm not in sync. How do you get in sync? Then if you're in this Google Classroom situation, then we're going to go down here and I have just one button on step number two because we did step one, we created it. You just click here and then you sync it. I give you a message. That's my message from the extension. I say success and I give you the name of the link that was synced and away you go. Now all this really did was it automated going here and doing the Command or Control L, highlight, copy over here, and go to the paste. If you could save yourself even one click or one keystroke, uh, that's huge. All right, so th that's what this is. Now we, we're in sync. If we look in here, um, whoa. Oh, yeah, I, at least I see myself. I don't see my students because in my simulated case, I only had, I, I only had, uh, well, in my simulated case, it was with the other URL. All right, but at least I showed you how you could uh, get yourself in sync. And if I had other students, they would be here. Let me go back to my previous example. And I, I'm, I'll look at my other com computer to see what that code originally was. Just one second. So I go here. I will probably just go one, two, three, click. HTTPS colon slash slash uh, meet.google.com slash vdn-endh-khg. <coughs> okay, great. And I need to close that down. So let's start over again. We had the main room. Oh, the reason why I didn't automatically go in is because I took these checkboxes off. <clears throat> okay, so we're in the main room, and we will see our students. They're all in there. All right. Now everybody's assigned, and we're ready to go ahead and group them, uh, do the next step. The next step is to click here, and then you will see your breakout room links, and you will also see your assigned students. To make this work, the students need two pieces of information. They need to know what group they're in. We have that here. They also need to know for that group, say group one, two, three, four, what is my link? So we just follow the instructions. We click here, we go here, and we hit paste. <coughs> We click here, and we paste it. Away you go. 
this is all you need and then the students will see their link and then they'll click on it and they'll automatically go in. Let me, let me handle one other situation that arises in it, uh, separately from why can't I see any students. The other question is why can't I see all my students? Let's look at the documentation. So there's two, why can't I see any of my students? And the next one is why can't I see all of them? And that has to do with the display uh, in the main room. This extension works on the basis of what you see is what you get because <clears throat> I need to see the students in order to read them out. Now, the display is in two different places. If you are using just regular Google Meet with no grid view extension, then you'll need to go here to the layout and make sure that you're on the tiled mode. Now, the tiled mode only works, I'm turning off this extension, uh, that only works for up to 16 students, which I do have. Uh, le I have less than 16 students, so that will work. Let me go out and in again. Everybody's still there. If I have more than 16 students, I can't see anything beyond 16. So in that case, you'll need to install this extension. I'll click it. If you see the cross slash, that means it is deactivated. So I'm going to activate it. All right, there you go. Uh, <clears throat> I have all that documented right here. Uh, it's in the next section. Why can't I see all my students? And it's, it's because of the display. This just goes over what I showed you here. Uh, to install this additional grid view, parentheses fix, you click on this button, uh, this link, and it will take you right to it. And you can download it. Uh, <clears throat> I've had good luck with this one, the parentheses fix, so I, that's why I recommend it. All right, so we went over this, assign breakouts ad hoc. What did we learn? We learned that basically a couple things. Number one, this number really matters. Whatever number this is, that will determine the number of breakout rooms you have. If I change this to five, if I go out and go back in again, I'll see a fifth room and then I can actually randomly assign around that. Oh, to move students around, you single click, uh, uh, you single click and, and you drag, single click and drag, single click and drag their name, single click and drag. If you want to exclude them from the random sort, just single, single uh, click all by itself, and then that's a toggle to turn them exclude or not exclude. If it's excluded, that means the very next time you hit random, it'll go over here. Now, let's just say that you had the students the way you wanted it and you realize, oh, I'm in here. You can actually click and hold and drag yourself over to the left and then you're fine. What else did I want to cover? So this is important. You don't have to have the rooms open uh, before you assign. It's very important that you're in sync in order to see all your students. This will help you determine if you're in sync. I went through the Google Classroom example of getting the Google Classroom automatically generated meet in sync is of 16.0. You do that by clicking on this button right here. Alternatively, you could do it the old school way <laughs> of uh, copying and pasting the URL. That's it. So uh, good luck with this. Um, and let's move on to the next help video.